Hi everybody, Carol Thompson here. You've come to At Home with Carol. Thank you so much for stopping by and I personally want to thank those of you who have subscribed to this channel. Uh, as you all know, I'm brand new and I do appreciate you coming by and watching the videos that I put up so far. So I just want you all to know that I really do value that you have subscribed and I hope that you find the content interesting and that it's something that um, that is important to you or that you will learn from or that you could pass on to somebody else. So thanks again. I can't reply to everybody because if you don't, if you don't have your subscription, who you're subscribed to public, I didn't know this, you cannot thank that person for subscribing. You don't even know who they are. So if you didn't get something from me, that's why. I couldn't see you or if you didn't send me a private message and tell me I subscribed that's why so anyway to all of you who subscribed I really do appreciate it and thank you so very very much so this video today is it'll probably be pretty brief it'll probably be 10 minutes or less um, I had a conversation with Carol from the O'Carroll show about uh, makeup and uh, I had said that my skin is very dry, which it is. My, my skin is called compromise. It peels. My forehead peels, literally, like a sunburn, if I don't take care of it. And she said, I, I said um, something about my, the makeup that I use, you know, doesn't crease. And I wanted to know uh, if the primers that she used, um, I think it was the primers, or maybe it was the foundation that she, that she was showing us. Uh, if any of those creased and she wrote back and she said you found a one that doesn't crease and I said yeah you know this is it so that's what I want to do a video on today I want to share with you for those of you who do have um, deep lines or you know n even not deep you have lines in your face or under your eyes uh, whether you're a boomer age person like me I was born in 48 so I'm gonna have a birthday in November so I'll be 68 and if you have skin like mine, if you're my age, if you're a little bit older, if you're a little bit younger, if you have premature aging and you have lines in your skin and you're tired of having foundation look really bad in the lines, I, I have a solution for you and I have the makeup that you really should try. And if you buy it from Sephora or maybe even Ulta or some of the other places, if you don't like it, you can return it. So it's not like you're losing any money, right? So I want to share with you uh, what I use, and uh, also I want to share with you what I discovered that you shouldn't use with it. So what I use is, this is a Clinique product, and I'm going to have to read the back because I don't have the box in front of me. You can, Actually, you can see it on my Instagram account, come to think of it. I did a picture, and it's called Super Powder Double Face Makeup, okay? And I wear matte beige. You can see I need to buy a new one pretty soon. I wear matte beige. And what I was telling Carol is that I don't use brushes anymore because my skin is so dry. If you use a brush and you do this, you know, you're going to kick up that dry skin. And when I you told really Carol, will. I said, you will get a better finish. My finish is great. I mean, I like the finish that I get with a sponge, but you will get an even better finish if you use a brush, right? So, you know, after I told her that, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try using a brush again because my skin is all repaired and has been. I have, you know, occasionally I have dry spot here and there and I take care of that. You know, it's gone within a day. So I thought, well, I'm going to try it. So what I did was I just, you know, took this brush and I just went around and around and around, right? And I just dabbed it on my skin, you know, where I needed it, where I wanted it, you know, and on my forehead where it's very dry, compromised, I just swept back and forth, right? And then what I did was I took my Real Techniques sponge, you can see I've used it, and I just pressed that in. And if I needed to go back and press and do some more, I just used it like this, you know, and just press that in, right? Where I needed it, right? Then you use that little, and you do the corners and so on and so forth in your forehead. So I've been using, Carol, I've been using the brush, and this is a number 46. It's a pro something. I can't read it. It's too small. I tell you about my eyesight flawless bronzer I don't know it's a good brush though 46 by Sephora 
So that's what I use. And uh, so far, so good. Otherwise, I mean, this does come with a sponge, but I don't like it. It's a round, flat one. I don't like it. I like these real techniques. I think they're great. Perfect. And then you got the pointy end to get in, you know, behind your nose and so on. Now, under eye, okay, under eye, I get a lighter color. And this one is Matte Bisque, and it's number 05. And you can see, I put a little nail polish on there to tell me what, that it's a lighter color. But and I, this is so pathetic. I need to get a new one. So I just take the tip. Or you can probably use a brush. I just use the tip of this. And I just go around and around. And I just dab that. In. Then I just go back with this side and I just kind of dab that in, you know, and just kind of blend it a little bit. It's perfect. Okay, now here's the caveat. You cannot use it with anything that's oil-based. I tried it. I didn't even think about it. Didn't at all. I mean, I was using a... Amy Miranda had done, um, had done a video on primers and I had an oil-based primer in a little um, Sephora you know sample size and uh, I used it and I put it on my skin and I you know read the directions and all that and then I did my moisturizer after that and I used the Clinique dramatically different I've been using it for a long time so I used that and then I let that you know sit for a few minutes and then I did my makeup and when I looked in my 10x mirror, I went, oh my gosh, I had, it looked like um, it was all cakey around my skin here, you know, and I mean, a light application, because I'll go into my 10x and then I'll start, you know, finding the places where I need a little more coverage. And it was all caked up because of that oil, it didn't even dawn on me. So, but this is the only makeup that I've ever found that does not sink into the lines of your skin. And it lasts all day. I don't ever refresh my makeup. I don't ever have a need to. And when I get home, I don't have that cakey stuff in here. I don't. I really don't. So that's it. And I really do appreciate your time. Thank you for hanging in here with me. I think I went over 10 minutes. But really looking forward to your comments. I hope that you'll let us know if you use the Clinique product that I showed you. That I showed you. If you found a workaround so that it doesn't look cakey when it's applied, when the, when the foundation is applied, everybody would love to know your secret. I think that's it, ladies, and I really do appreciate your time. I thank you so much, and I hope that you will stop by Twitter or Instagram um, and, and say hello, or even on Pinterest, and I'll follow you back. And uh, also have a look on Quora, Quora.com. And uh, check out some I of the things your that time I write today. about there. So it's time for me to say goodbye. And you know, as they always say here in the South, y'all take care. Okay, bye-bye. See you next time.